All right, and welcome to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing fine. Today, we're going to talk about Twitch drops because in a couple days, a new season starts. First, we're going to answer the frequently asked questions. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you the shiny rewards that you can get. All right, I would say we get to start with the first question. What are Twitch drops? That's pretty simple. You go over to Twitch, you watch a Hunt Showdown streamer that has Twitch drops enabled. And after a certain amount of time, you get a legendary item. More details in a bit. So now you're probably wondering, okay, but when does this event start? So it starts February the 23rd and it ends the 1st of March. Now the threshold for all the specific dates is 3 p.m. UTC. So it starts February the 23rd, 3 p.m. UTC. That's day one. Day two starts then the 24th, 3 p.m. UTC. All right. It's important because you have to watch at certain days to get certain items. Now you're probably wondering, okay, Mike, tell us what we can get. The first day, drop one, the 23rd, you have to watch 90 minutes total. You can watch 30 minutes and then 60 minutes later. That, that's not too important. Twitch tracks that. You get a Martini Henry repost, the Bingham Bash. Yes, that's the copper one. The Martini Henry repost that we already had the first Twitch drop event ages ago. So it's nice that it's back because it looks awesome. The second drop will be the 24th, or 90 minutes again. The Scottfield Model 3, 10 paces. Keep in mind, I'm gonna show you pictures at the end. This is a regular Scottfield. I'm a little bit, hmm, why not the Swift? But hey, I'm gonna take it. Drop number three, the 25th, is 90 minutes again. Springfield 1866, the old Tusk. So yes, that is also the Springfield that we had already, the first Twitch drop event. Now you're like, hmm, I want something new, I want something exciting and fresh. All right, all right. Drop number four, and here it gets interesting because we have multiple days to unlock that one. 26th until the 1st of March, 120 minutes though, not 90 minutes, you can get a new hunting bow, the Sinus Sinew. I have no idea if I pronounce it correctly, but the comment section will surely let me know. Now, drop number five is the 27th until the 1st of March, 180 minutes for our new legendary hunter, the Louisiana Outlaw Steel Eyed. Last Twitch drop event, you had to unlock drop number four to get drop number five. I think you had to unlock the Bornheim to actually qualify to get Lulu. It's the same this year. So you have to unlock drop number four to get drop number five. Now you can do this in one day. So the 1st of March, if this is the first time you can watch the Twitch drops, you will not be able to get drop one, two, and three. But if you watch long enough, you can get drop number four and drop number five. So we talk now enough regarding the rewards. Now, account linking. I'm gonna give you a link in the description and in the pinned comment. In general, all the links that you will need, they will be in the description below. Follow that link, link your account, and this is how it looks if it works. Yes, it's my old logo. They didn't update that yet. Hopefully they will fix that. Then, do I need to be locked in? Into the game? No. On Twitch? Yes. So, you don't have to have the game open. The only thing you need is Twitch. You can check your progress in the Twitch Drops inventory page. Yes? Link in the description below. Next. I can't link. What now? Well, a common error is that you have another account linked. So go to your Twitch account, settings, go to the connections tab and select the right one. Otherwise, you need the customer support. Also be careful when you link your platform, take the right one because you can only link one platform. So if you have Hunt on console and PC, careful which one you pick. All right, then, do I need to relink if I linked already last year? Normally, no. Check that again on the Twitch Drops campaign page, link in the description below, or unshowdown.com slash Twitch Drops, also in the description below. <gasps> I'm gonna say that a lot this video, but hey. Uh, who can I watch? Now this is interesting, you can watch literally everybody who has drops enabled. This time there are no exclusive drops. So no exclusivity, just enable drops as a streamer and everybody can earn all the drops just with you. And a follow-up question that I always get is, what if I watch multiple people? 
that does nothing. So you can watch one single person and you can get all the items. But you can also watch multiple pe persons, like for example, you watch streamer A day one and streamer B day two, that works, all right? So you don't have to watch one, but you can watch only one, that's fine. You don't need 20 tabs open with 20 different streamers, okay? Then, next, will there be regular drops? Good question, no. It's gonna be the same like last Twitch drop, so I think in the very first Twitch drop event, you could get like, I don't know, uh, frag bombs, some guns and stuff like that. No, you can only get the legendary weapons. Well, only. <laughs> I mean, it's still good. Then, will you stream? Well, this will be quite a shocker. Yes, I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna stream a lot. I think the first Twitch drop event, my longest stream was 28 hours and 28 minutes. The last Twitch drop event, I streamed 30 hours. Let's see how I will do this time. But I will stream a shit ton the whole week. Then, what about console? Yes, uh, console works too. So PC and console, everybody will get Twitch drops. And I think I have one more question. Yeah, I missed a day. What's happening now? If you miss a day, like for example, you miss day one, you cannot get the Bingham Bash. So be careful with this one. Exceptions, drop four and five, you can watch over multiple days. But for the other ones, you have to log in on Twitch for the specific dates and then watch streamers. Now, enough of the questions and I think I gave you quite some answers. Otherwise, drop them in the comment section and I see if I find time to answer them. Otherwise, if you see a question in the comment section, feel free to answer that and help a fellow Unshodown member out. Now, legendaries, the first one, Martini, Henry, Repose, the Bingham Bash. Honestly, I don't play this gun enough. It looks amazing. I like the copper theme on that one. You can pair this one with the copper hat and have like an absolutely beast of a theme-based loadout. Banning down in a gun, please. Then, next one, we have the Scott Field, the 10 paces. It looks awesome. Especially the handle, it's uh, beautiful. I still don't know why they gave it to a regular Scott Field and not the Swift. But I'm not gonna complain here. And then next one, the old Tusk, the Springfield 1866. Yes, we had that one already in the first Twitch Drop event, but this one is beautiful. And I actually watched my last Twitch Drop video to check if I missed any questions. And there were a lot of people like, man, I want the old Tusk to be back. Then, we have also the new hunting bow. Oh my god, this one is just so awesome. I like this one. It is a little bit like, you know, Lord of the Rings. Like uh, from an elf. Looks beautiful. And then, new legendary hunter, the Louisiana Outlaw, the Steel-Eyed. I think he looks pretty, pretty nice. I like it. We don't have enough hunters with hats, so here we go. But Mike, what about Billy? Billy will not be part of this um, Twitch drop event, but Crytek announced that he will come back later this year. So stay tuned for updates. That's all I can say. And that's it. I hope I answered most of your questions. I hope you're happy with the Twitch drops. Um, and I hope I see you over at Twitch. I'm gonna probably warm up um, a little bit before 3 p.m. UTC, probably two hours before that. We're gonna start already, play a few games, and I hope I will have, like, you know, maybe um, Joe or Dennis or the other people join me with some nice Twitch drop sessions, because if I play another 30 hours or maybe 40 hours, who knows, solo, then I will probably lose my mind. But yes, I'm most likely 99.9% stream every day and maybe we will break a few new records that would be amazing all right and now thank you for watching let's roll the outro you know that moment you finish a project and then you realize you missed something yep if you don't get your twitch drops check the pinned comment what you can do about it people who i will not forget are my patrons thank you for your support it's much appreciated Thank you for watching. Feel free to join me over at twitch.tv slash I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.